Hey guys, por los que no me conocen, yo soy Juan y bienvenidos a un nuevo video. <laughs> Alright, so today we're doing a little Mexican mukbang type of stuff, you know. Um, I went to my closest fruteria, shout out to Fru Fruteria Tropical. Um, this is not a sponsorship, hopefully one day it will. So we got a little chamoyada, it's kind of melted because it's been here a while. Some fresas con crema, you know, a little beauty girl moment. And then some hot cheetos. I mean, it wouldn't be a Latina look main if there's no hot cheetos. So let's get it. And hopefully by the end of the video, no me da chorro. So let's start. All right, so let me open this. It's gonna do a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit because I already have a little things. Um, I love hot Cheetos. Okay, so in this video, um, it's a new thing plus it's a little story time, you know, just letting you know. Okay, so let's begin with the cheese, man. Alright, so story time for this day was... Um, I guess the first time I ever sneaked out in my life. So, I mean, it's very interesting. <sighs> okay, so the first time I ever sneaked out, um, I was, I was pretty old. I think I didn't start doing this until I was like, what, 18? Um, so I was, I think, 18 or 18 or 19. Um, I was just barely... Um, getting the hang of going out because I mean I wouldn't really go out that much um, so I was it, it was a rainy day literally a rainy day so um, I was just in bed it was like I think 4 in the morning uh, no not 4 my bed it was like 2 or 3 in the morning and so like I was on my phone and I got a message and so that message said blah 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 you know and it was a little appointment, so so I was like, okay, I can come through. And I was like, all right. So he said, to, um, they said to come through, and so like, um, you know me, I I first looked out in my mom's room, made sure she it was probably three in the morning, so she was dead asleep. And then my brother was in the room, in the other room. So I put on my shorts and then some chanclas and a sweater because I think it was like drizzling or something. And then so um, I got in my car and I quietly like opened the door, closed the door, got in my car and then like turned it on. But the good thing that my car was out by the street and the sidewalk, so you can really hear, um, you couldn't really hear it like turn on which was a good thing so I got into the car and um, I got into the car and then so I drove um, to this place it was like 20 like 20 minutes away so when I got there I hit the, that person up and so we were chit chatting in the car <laughs> And so, like, I was finding a place to park, you know, to talk. <laughs> to talk. Anyways. So, um, I was finding a place to talk. And so, I went into, like, this little parking space. It was kind of type of alley stuff. Um, parking space. And, well. <laughs> so, I went in there. And then, when I went in there, we saw there was people there. And, I mean, it was... It was like three or four in the morning. So I was like, you know what, let's go somewhere else because you know, there's people there, I don't really trust it. So, uh, let me let me get my, so when I was backing up, I was backing up. I, I don't know what I hit, honestly. I, it, it's cause I parked like by where one of those drainages. And so, <laughs> So whenever I backed up, all I heard was bah! and I was like, and I just looked at him and I was like, 
I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, <laughs> I was like, is that my tire? And so whenever my tire, like my tire pressure is low, so my car lets me know. So as soon, like literally, it sounded like a gunshot. So whenever it popped, like my light turned on, my tire pressure light turned on, and I was like, oh, no, I was like, no. I was like, oh my God. I was like, it just had to pop. It just had to pop. So, um, let me see. So, whenever, whenever I got, I got down and I looked and I saw that my tire pressure, my tire popped. I was so pissed. So I was like, you know what? I need to go. I'm going to drop you off. I need to go get this changed because it's 4.30 in the morning. Nobody says I'm out here. My mom does not know I'm out here. So, like, I was freaking out. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do? Like, so, at this time, um, I went to drop the person off and I parked. And so when I parked, um, I started going down and I was like, but my freaking, yo de mentito de no pensar, o sea, mentito, o sea, hello Juan, porque no se te prende la luz, that I forgot my card. So I was gonna get a company or whatever to come and help me change my tire because yes, I don't know how to change tire. I know it's the most essential thing, but I don't know how to change. Anyways, so um, I was first. I went through my contacts. I called some of my friends. They were answering. It was three or four in the morning. Like I get it. Um, I called my cousin. He wasn't answering. Um, then I tried when when I was looking. I finally found um, like a company or whatever to come change my tire, and I was about to do it. I remember I didn't bring my card. I just bought brought my license, my ID. Because, I mean, I usually don't like taking stuff like that. Um, especially if I'm not going to use it. So I just bring my driver's license because that's what I need to drive. And so I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I don't have anything. <laughs> So, I went to my last resource. <laughs> oh my god. I went to my last resource. And so, um, I called my brother. And I called him like three times. I called him three times and I was like, hey, can you come change my tire? <laughs> it kind of popped. <laughs> And then he was like, where the fuck is that? Where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Why are you out to lay? And I was like, I don't need this right now. And so I was like, okay, whatever. You know, I already told him. I was like, but don't tell mom. So whenever I, um, I called him, he was like, okay, I'm on my way, blah, blah, blah. So I was waiting for him and I sent him my location where I was at. To fo Good thing I was at that far, I was just like 20 minutes away. So I was just chilling there. Y que me llama mi mamá. Me llama mi mamá. Uh, literally when I saw my phone, because I thought it was him calling me. So I turned my phone. <gasps> Tell me why my heart travels at casi me daba el patatus. Like, I was like, my mom's calling me, like, what the hell? So, I was like, oh my god. So, I hesit I literally hesitated to answer, like, I don't want to answer. But I knew it was going to be, you know, where it's like, anybody that has a Mexican mom knows that. Que te va bien mal, o sea, <laughs> you can be how old you can, but if you're out in the street at four, at 30 in the morning. O sea, te van un chingazo. Entonces. Entonces I answered. And I was like, hello. <laughs> and she's like, ¿Dónde estás? And I'm like, um, 
you know? I mean, I couldn't tell her. So I basically was like, well, yes, I was a skin, you know? My friend was drunk and I had to go pick her up and take her home. And she's like, no, sabes cuánto del. So literally, she gave me a speech and I was like, oh my god, like, why me? Like, what does this happen? Like, I literally, I mean, I go out, like, I go out, that's not the point. But the first time I've ever, ever sneaked out, like, this happens to me and I'm like, never again but um then so then i was like i was like okay so then my brother came and he changed the tire for me and then um after that what happened after that after that i think so after that i they put he put on my spare tire and so i went home despacito because i really don't trust my spare tire because uh at that time it wasn't a really good tire it just was good to take me home y pues la otra cuando la quito estaba destrozada so it literally popped and it ripped and so i was like never again never again so by this time it was already like 4.35, it was like 5 in the morning. My mom was pissed and I was like, I really don't want to get home. Like, como trágame tierra, entonces. So, like, I went and literally as I was pulling up, like, my mom was at the door and I was like. I was like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so I pulled up and I was like, oh my God, me que en ese momento te juro, te juro que me quería morir. O sea, I was like, oh, I never do anything like this. Like, I'm such a good child. And so, um, I was like, okay, so I got down and she was, she, she came, she had that look, you know, that, that look they give you like, like the way a chinga, you know? And so and so I was like, fine. So I got down and then I went to the door. And I went in and then she was like she the speech she gave me on the phone, she literally gave it to me in the door. And I was like <laughs> I was like, I know I am so so sorry. Like like I have never done this before, like I don't know what I was thinking, you know. So, so then I was like, okay. So then after that, I went to sleep and then we went to change my tire. But like, literally, literally, like when my tire popped, the person I was with, they're like, so are we going to still hang out? Like, no, it's stupid. Like, what the hell? Like, you know, like my tires pop. Like, are you gonna change it for me? But the person didn't even know how to change the tire. So I was like, oh my god. So it's to this day that sometimes when I forget my keys outside, like in the living room or something, they come up in my mom's room, and so I'm like, oh. So, but I've never did it again, um, just because that happened. Like. I have such bad luck, such bad luck whenever I try to do something like that. Like, it's not funny. Like, it's really not funny. Like, I felt so bad and I was like, why me, you know? So the moral of the story is, do not sneak out, because bad things will happen. But there's people that sneak out all the time and nothing happens, but, you know, it's just like that. Um. Um, it's horrible like I wouldn't do it again I, I haven't done it and I haven't seen that person since <laughs> so it was like very embarrassing alright so that's the end of my cheese mid time um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get chorro by eating all this 
And um, I also want to go ahead and thank you for everybody that's been supporting me and following me. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like and subscribe and turn on the bell for uh, post notifications. And um, if you y'all want some fresas con crema or some chamoyada or other things, I will be leaving the fruteria down below as well. That way you can go ahead and and um, and buy stuff. I used code Juan for 10% off in store. I'm just kidding. I don't have a code. So don't use it because you're not going to get 10% off. But yeah. All right. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.